Please bear with me. Um, I am an American, in case you can't tell from my accent. I know there's a lot of Russian folks up here. Uh, but uh, I'm also president of uh, 777 Studios. And 777 Studios is also the owner and developer of uh, a little World War One flight sim, something you may be familiar with, called Rise of Flight. Yeah! Thank you. Uh, it is a, an absolutely fantastic, uh, stunning, free-to-play, World War I uh, combat flight simulator. And it is the uh, genesis of what we're doing with uh, the Sturmvik product you'll see a little later today. So if you haven't checked out Rise of Flight, I certainly encourage you to uh, download it and give it a shot and see what it's all about. Uh, I've worked with this team for four years now on Rise of Flight, and we've been working on Starvik for since uh, December of last year, uh, so just a few months. But in that time, we've made rapid progress, and uh, what you'll see today is uh, what we consider to be an early alpha of the product. And uh, Albert will go through a pretty detailed uh, presentation of uh, what the product will be uh, at launch. So. Uh, without further ado, I will simply turn it over to my my partner, my colleague, and my friend, Albert Zilkoff. Right. Thank you. So, hello, San Francisco, being from Moscow, Russia. Thanks, Jason. I'm Albert, so I'm a chief producer in One CGM Studios, and also I'm a producer on Alto Stummer. And today I want to present you our new game, this truly legendary uh, Second, yeah, let's start from the roots. So, originally Alto Stermerik was born in uh, 2001 and this really thirst Russian game after Tetris, of course, that was uprised so much aboard. More than 30 different awards, 20 and after 12 years from beginning, and after 70 years from the end, one of the most brutal battles of Earth on the Eastern Front during World War II, I want to present you Anatoly Turmalik, Battle of Stalin. When we start this work with our teammates, we try to find one thing we want to concentrate in. And we think that this is immersion. Immersion of flying. Immersion of fire. So, like, we want to put you in a copy of a real play. And we plan to use all possibilities of a modern PC, all our passion in these kind of games to do this for you. Of course, the first is the 3D models. We, we study all drawings, all blueprints, all information we can find to recreate all of these beautiful barbers we would live tiny and little details in a maximum possible, possible precise. Maybe the first time from the PC origin. Uh, for every airplane, we create the very, very detailed engine with all of these indicators for studying flying and uh, for, for, for flying, for operating them, and we try to create two different uh, difficulty models. One of them, the high difficulty model, and you need to keep eye on all of these tiny things, all of these indicators. And the second one, the easy flight model, and you can concentrate on the flying and fighting, and the automated system take care about all of this system. This is uh, the short brief of what we plan to do. The different systems, and this is maybe the most realistic flight sim ever created. To describe you what is the new engine, I prefer to use sound. This is just in game. To create the sound, we need to create all of these elements in the engine. And it sounds like a real play. Pilot. This is the, the fun thing, of course. But 12 years ago, this was enough 
for a lot of players to, to think they are the real pilots of World War II. This, this is amazing how deep the imagination can be. And now we're doing this. So this is the real step from the origin game for what we can do now. Ground turns. Very important parts, of course. We're working under 36 different vehicles and type of vehicles to recreate whole ground battle, which was, as I said before, maybe the most brutal battle of the World War II in the Eastern Front. A lot of details, a lot of systems, tanks, armored vehicles, trucks, cars, planes, and also uh, rocket mortars. All of this moving, thinking, fighting, and create, I don't know what to say, the immersion. Physics and aerodynamics. This is the unique documents. Most of them was classified as sacred just a few years ago. And right now, we can read them, use them, because all of them can provide us uh, unique information, I can say. Because, as you can see, this is the German plane. But this plane was tested by Russian pilots after the war. And the same information we have about the Russian planes. So we can have a different angle of view on each airplane. And also try to create it maybe the first time with such details. Interesting thing that we can find the pilot who was just 90 years ago and he was he participated in this battle and be the final pilot and right now he working with us to help us. Alright. Awesome. He was maybe the, the last man who see all of this city of battle by his own eyes. This is an uh, amazing experience for us, and thank you for help. This is the uh, test pilot of Soviet Air Force, like Chuck Yaga in the uh, US. Thanks God he's a clear mind and can help us. All aircraft have the parts the same parts as they created on plants. Every little element of the airplane recreated, and this is why I can, I can say we can have maybe the most interesting and realistic flight model for them. Flight and damage model, of course. Every plane has the, the such details. Damage model. This is the biggest difference. Because in uh, usual flight simming, what you see that the plane crashed, yeah, just a blowing up. But the first time we using all the possibilities of a PC to create a smooth damage model. Not only about the shells like armor piercing bullets or high explosive, but a lot of different elements. Battle map. This is a typical size of a battle map in a say the flying gates and this is a stunning about itself this is the map which was created in the original Alto Stimmel and this is what we plan to do right now so right. thank you and why because this is the really battle map this is all territory the battle was and about the town of Stalingrad. Usually, game developers put some houses and say, oh, this is, this is the place the battle was. 
We try to do more. We create all of these elements, the whole city, more than 40 kilometers on two banks of the Great River of Water. All elements. And some conversion photos for you. So on the right hand, we have real photo, and the left side of the uh, screen, we have model, we create, of course, imagine this is a flight seal. Wow, nice. Now, nice. of course, Fontaine, everybody knows it's flight films. Gameplay, some unique elements, like single player online game. Single player online game, the idea how the player can be the part of community, even if he plays a single player. Because the playing fight seems not only about flying and fighting, and also about finding friends and uh, uh, learning history, studying new things. So this is why I think that even you play with a PC, you want to be the part of community. And unique mission generation system, what is meant? Every mission created by this generator has unique details. So every mission you create for yourself, unique, even if it's a million missions, unique details in every mission, in every effort. Of course, playing customization and modification system, all modification and all customization system are totally historical correct. It's what we studied from. Like Global statistics system for all players who play so. And the idea, I think, more than there are 100 players on one server, server in a multiplayer mode. That's awesome. That's awesome. AI enemies, also one unique um, feature or element. We think that um, now we can present you AI which control the same airplane as you. No simplified physics or something like that. This is like Skynet. So, <laughs> everybody think that Skynet growing up somewhere, no, in Moscow. And, and believe me, this is the good chance to practice before Skynet Jason already said that this is the early B alpha because we started this work only nine months ago. But I'm proud the result we already achieved. So thank you very much.